Joining us now is Pastor Robert Jeffers from the First Baptist Church of Dallas, also a Fox Business contributor, great American. Uh, he, your thoughts about as we're sitting here on Friday, uh, rhinos like Adam Genzinger, who asked you to repent for your support of President Trump, I, as the president is being, again, fraudulently impeached by the Dems, and there is not yes. even a whisper of dissent or opposition to that in the national left-wing media. Lou, this is something we're going to see more and more over these next four years, and that's an attempt to shame people like you and me who strongly support this president into repenting of our support of him. Well, I'll guarantee you I'm not repenting of anything. It's certainly not my support of this great president. I told USA Today this week that I had absolutely no regrets whatsoever in supporting President Trump, and I told him this week that I believe believed he is the greatest president of my lifetime, and he will go down as the most pro-life, pro-religious liberty president in American history, and nothing anyone says is going to change that. Lou, he's leaving office next week with his legacy intact. Absolutely, and it's an extraordinary legacy, all the more because of the efforts of the radical Dems, the deep states, from the from the beginning almost of his candidacy for the office that they tried to deny him, and then their efforts to overthrow him and block his agendas uh, throughout, he accomplished more than any president in the first year of his, first three years of his term. Uh, his, his four years in office are remarkable in achievement, all the more so because of the naked, corrupt opposition of the radical left and the deep state. Well, that's right, Lou. And I remember so well about six months after he uh, became president, I remember sitting in the Oval Office and telling him, Mr. President, you have an axis of evil that is going to conspire to take you down. Not only the media and the Democrats, but the establishment Republicans. And that proved to be true. Uh, they conspired together, but they couldn't stop his tremendous achievements in spite of, in spite of all of those headwinds. And uh, I am grateful, eternally grateful for what he has done for our nation. Even though he's leaving office for now, uh, his legacy will endure. His legacy will endure. Also enduring are the corrupt forces within our government who worked against him for more than four years. As I said, uh, trying, to, uh, trying to destroy the man, uh, not just the president, uh, but the man, uh, it, it is the most vile, venomous assault ever conducted against a president in our country's history, short of the assassination what? of Abraham Lincoln. It is, and this is a nation that can't heal, that cannot come together until we understand the truth and the reality of what we have witnessed over the course of the past four years of this man's presidency. Well, Lou, I think I speak for all of your viewers when I say that's why we need you, the same voice of Lou Dobbs now more than ever. And we're going to depend upon you over these next four years to point out what is going on, the darkness, the lies that we're going to see. I'm saying Sunday in my sermon, yes, we need to pray, pray for our new president, President Biden. The Bible says we need to pray for all of our leaders, but we also need to be ready to push back against the ungodly godly policies that are sure to come. These are days for God's people to stand up and to be courageous like never before. Pastor Robert Jeffers, thank you for those eloquent words. We appreciate it.